Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing some texturing on the ceiling. Uh, just the other day I went and I skimmed the ceiling. Uh, I'm going to give you a run through of the tools I'll be using in order to do the texturing. I also will give you a couple, you know, pictures and videos of the preparation that I took to get this taken care of so we can protect the floor and the walls. Um, also, um, I might be able to just throw in the fact that we had uh, the 18 inch roller that I use with the pole and we, you know, roll that on with the mud off to the ceiling and I just came back and used a an, uh, 12 inch knife to go ahead and uh, skim it down. Other than that, we'll get started with the video. All right, so like how I had mentioned, this is going to be a video clip of the previous day where I prep the walls and the floor and I will also add a photo of how the skim end up turning up. So sit back and enjoy the time lapse. Alright, I'm going to be talking about a couple of the tools that I use to skim the ceiling. Uh, basically took an 18, 18 inch roller and rolled the mud up there. It was the consistency between yogurt and peanut butter. So I got that, rolled it on there. After that, I took my 12 inch crown knife and I skimmed the ceiling. Now the stuff that we're going to be using to texture, uh, I have a pan and I'm going to use my 12 inch trowel knife to knock down the texture. Uh, you want to use this pan and as soon as you knock it down, you want to clean it off every single time you do that to knocking down the texture. The texture typically sits about 20 to 30 minutes. You, don't, you want to wait for the sheen to kind of go away and then uh, knock it down and I'll show you uh, an example of that uh, later in the video. I got a, a couple of knives that I will be doing like tight corners where I have to knock down. Those are useful. I got a five gallon bucket. You can use a five gallon or you can use a two gallon uh, depending on the size of your your job. I have a mixing blade that you would put on the drill. You're going to mix that up for the texture. You're going to want a yogurt consistency to be able to place that mud inside this wallboard texture. It doesn't come with that 45 so you have to find that at your local home improvement store and add that and then clamp this down. Um, this gun comes with a valve back here to Add pressure or relieve pressure when you turn it to the right it goes in to the, the nozzle here you go left and it comes back so that's gonna spray out much more texture what you want to do is kind of put it halfway because we or um, I have this drywall that I have here that I'm gonna do three different types of textures a heavy mid and light knock those down and compare to what I have on the ceiling. So the mud I'll be using is an all purpose. You can use that. You can find that at, at your local home improvement store. You could also use this, you know, knock down texture knife to knock everything down. But if you look, that's not going to fit on cleaning your pen. So you got to always keep those things in mind. Without further ado, let's spray some texture on that drywall. All right, before we place some texture on the drywall, I'm going to show you the process of mixing up the mud and getting the consistency you need in order to get it right inside the wallboard texture gun. 
Let's go ahead and speed up the video in this area. Alright, we're going to slow it down here and then show you what it should look like. Alright everyone, this is the texture on the ceiling. We're going to try to match that. Alright guys, I um, got the compressor here. I got it set at about 60 to 70 PSI. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour the texture. Uh, mud into the wallboard gun so let's go ahead and do that now might be a little bit off screen but you'll be able to see it once I spray the texture on the drywall so we got some mud in the gun Okay, got the gun attached. So what we're gonna do is basically do a couple passes. The top one's gonna be heavy, the middle one's gonna be light, and the bottom one's gonna be even lighter. So here you go. So we need to back this off a little bit, open it up some, lightly press. There's the heavy. Go go forward, make a little tighter. Medium. Now we're going to do even lighter than that. And then even lighter on the last one. Right. We're going to let that set up about 20, 30 minutes, let the sheen kind of get a little dull, and then we'll come back and knock it down. One thing I forgot to add was uh, when I switched the screen is if you knock this down way too early, you're going to end up doing, doing something like this to it. It's just going to run and it's not even going to look nice. So you kind of want to wait for it to try to dry up and you can see very closely that there's a sheen to it. We want to wait for that sheen to get dull. Then it'll harden up a little bit. And now we can knock it down. So as soon as I texture the ceiling, uh, you'll be able to see what it looks like afterwards. All right, guys, sorry about the lighting on the last clip. Um, and that's something I've been struggling with. So it looks like the texture is setting up. It's been, it's been about 20 minutes. And the bottom one looks like it's drying up fairly well. So we're going to go ahead and try to knock that down. We don't want this to dry up too much. So let's give that a try. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be using a 12 inch, 12 inch trowel knife. And we're going to knock that down. So let's start with the bottom. It looks like it lost its sheen. Okay, so there you have it. Now on the next one, it's a little bit more heavier. So we, we, def we definitely want to try to take that one a bit slower. All right, so there's a second pass. That one's a, a bit heavier. Let's take the next one.
Okay, and this last one, it looks like there's still a little bit of the sheen. We're going to go ahead and knock it down either way. But we want to be careful here, see how it behaves. Here we go. So there's the top one. If you notice, all the texture was a lot closer. So now you have areas that are quite bigger than what is down here. So we're going to review this on the ceiling and see what we need to do in order to accomplish that texture. It looks like we found the texture that we want to match on the ceiling. So let's get to texturing. doing now is just going around basically looking for any spots that might be dull and needing some texture but other than that it looks like the whole texture is on the on the ceiling we're gonna wait we're gonna wait the 20 minutes 30 minutes for that sheen to kind of die down a little bit and then we're gonna come back and knock it down it can be messy but try to get 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 it done right All right, guys, looks like the texture is drying up. So we're going to get the 12 inch trowel and start knocking down some of the texture slowly so you can test it out. Get your pan. Have that, have that ready. What I'm going to end up doing first is I'm going to, I'm going to knock down these edges. The edges here always tend to dry up a lot faster. So. We'll take care of that first and just gently wipe off. Like I mentioned, just gently wiping it off. Kind of kind of blend and feather out the texture with the older texture. You let that dry, then you're really going to be able to notice it.
look we'll start on this corner over here get that texture not down I always have a, a sponge handy so that way we can uh, clean off the the 12 inch trowel from time to time keep it clean so that way you're not scraping some of this old texture over the new texture and leaving making and uh sorry and leaving lines on the on the knockdown texture so what we're doing is gently knock it knocking it down Try not to drag the, the edge of the trowel so you're making lines. Just keep it maybe at the angle is going to be about right in there. Try not to keep it this way. Keep it, I, I would say that's like 40 or 50 degrees, but that would be the best example to give it. If, you're, if your knuckles are touching on the ceiling, then you're too far in. Just try to back up, back it off a little bit. Let me tell you something. If you think you're going to stay clean, unless you have a bunny suit on, try not to think you're going to get, you're going to stay clean. guys as you can see we've knocked down all the texture and this is what we want it close but not too close once it's all painted it'll look good please like the video subscribe to the channel turn on the bell notification